When we talk about what is an icon, essentially an icon is an image. Icon means image in Greek. What makes it special in a religious sense, which would not necessarily be limited to Christianity, is your use of it as a medium of devotion to contemplate the holy. There are icons that are paintings of individuals, but they're icons of events, and the events often do telescope a whole series of moments in that event. When you try to think about specific themes, you're always going to be drawn to the centrality of Christ. In the Armenian world, well, you often find Christ flanked by the Virgin and John the Baptist uh, are popular themes. You see that often on Hotchkars. And the sacrifice of Isaac is such a fascinating image because it's in so many uh, illuminated Armenian Gospels. It clearly resonates very specifically to the Armenians and not so much to other Christian communities. And I think the desire to recognize those who have sacrificed is a thread in the selection of saints throughout times. Before the Protestant Reformation, pretty much everybody's church walls were covered with narratives of the life of Christ, of saints to whom the churches were dedicated. There is a form of drama to it. People went into churches and churches of any community encapsulated a worldview. A pregnant woman might have responded to the infant Christ because she would be praying for a healthy infant. A man getting ready to go take part in a battle might have responded to those that he felt could protect him in battle. You went into something that encapsulated your worldview and then drew from it those moments that mattered the most to you. We expect the painters of icons to be devout. They're inspired to, to make it meaningful. It is meaningful to them to depict it well. There's no requirement as to what an icon be made out of. We think of them in terms of panel paintings on wood, but in the strictest sense of an icon, a coin with an image uh, could be used for that devotion and thus would be a, a functioning icon. Icons are painted by artists who are using the pigments that are accessible. We give tremendous symbolic meaning to colors. Purple is the imperium and the most expensive color. Blue goes with sky, um, green with the earth, red goes with sacrifice and death. What's fascinating to me about Armenian gospel paintings, icons, wall paintings, is that you are on the trade routes to Afghanistan and so you get lots of lapis lazuli. And you use lapis lazuli in the Middle Ages with a freedom that Renaissance Italy can't afford because it's more valuable than gold. I have a vast interest in the history of how we approach through visual images the holy. And I think that over time we have always sought a way to make the holy real for us. Part of what we do as we look at images is interpret them for our moment in time. An icon is like a window. It's a window into the soul.